Hello everyone. My name is Kathy Four, and I'm the Director of Women's Ministries for the Churches of God General Conference. I often get asked, what is CGWM? So I'd like to take a few moments today to share with you a little bit about who we are and why we exist. The role of women is so vital to the church's effective ministry that the Churches of God General Conference believe it is important for the women to be able to have an organized ministry that is in harmony with the total ministry of the church. CGWM is an active organization of women that is accountable to the Churches of God General Conference. Our purpose is to train and equip women to live boldly for God and in that to see women disciples who are disciple makers. Our national leadership team consists of myself as the director, Heather Boss is the director of equipping, Kathy Odegaard is our assistant director, Kimberly Daly is our secretary, and Nancy Scott is our treasurer. And in addition to the executive team, Norma Clock is our ERC representative, Kelly DeVincent is our ARC representative, and Susan Fennig is our missions coordinator and a Great Lakes representative. One thing women's ministry is known for is our annual Flourish Conference. Even now, our leadership team is preparing for next year's event, which will take place the first weekend of March on the campus of the University of Findlay in Findlay, Ohio. We sure hope you'll plan now to join us then for a great weekend of worship, teaching, and fellowship. Another ministry of CGWM that is very familiar to many is our thank offering which was initiated by Grace Pearson in the early 1950s. Since then, we've collected and dispersed over $2 million around the globe to advance the kingdom of God. Currently, we are supporting the India School for Girls, although this year those monies were used as a scholarship for Matamita Singha to further her nursing education because the India School has, uh, is no, not accepting students at this time. In addition, we also support Venezuela Bible School, the Physical Therapy School in Haiti, Women at Weinbrenner Theological Seminary, and Women's Leadership Development around the conference. We believe so strongly in the impact of our thank offering, both individually and around the globe, that we'd like to take the opportunity to invite you to join us. Here's how it works. Each day, put coins in your bank as you give thanks to the Lord for his many blessings. Then that thank offering is collected at the local church level in May, and it's sent to the regional CGWM tre treasurers who then send 60% to the National Treasurer, Nancy Scott, who disperses it to the ministries that I just described. There are many other ways that we seek to encourage and equip women to live boldly for God besides those two ministries. Our website at cggcwomen.org is a great place to learn more about CGWM so we invite you to take advantage of the many resources there, including a Women's Ministry Resources page. We also have a weekly blog. The theme of this year's blog is Living Boldly for God. Each month we'll look at a different topic around that theme to help us delve deeper together in what it looks like and what it takes to live boldly for God. And then each month, Haley Day, our newsletter editor, will compile those weekly blogs into newsletter form. That is then posted on our website so that it can be printed and handed out to the women in your local churches. We have a Facebook page as well as a YouTube channel. And we're excited that this year, following the Flourish Conference in March, the sessions 
uh, that take place during the Flourish Conference will all be available on the YouTube channel so that those who cannot attend in person for one reason or another will still be able to take advantage of the great content. We hope you'll check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. In addition, in 2023, CGWM is working to organize and promote disciple maker cohorts regionally as well as locally and nationally with the women of our conference as well as in our communities. Our leadership team is available to speak at your events. And in addition, Heather Boss, our director of equipping, is working to schedule quarterly events to connect and equip the women in our regions. We recognize the need to reimagine women's ministries in a world that's rapidly changing around us, but we are still called to make disciples. And we know we're never going to be able to effectively make disciples unless we ourselves are flourishing. I love that word. It means to be growing like crazy. If we're growing like crazy, then when others see Christ in us, they'll want to hear what we have to say, no matter what's going on in the culture around us. CGWM isn't here to tell you what to do, but we do want to partner with you in your local and regional ministries to advance the kingdom of God together. God designed the body of Christ to function together. You can't disciple nations on your own. Neither can your women's ministries or even your local church. It's going to take all of us together. We want to provide opportunities for women to meet Jesus and then train them how to flourish and plant seeds of their own. We know God promises to provide everything that we need in order to do that. So I hope very much that you'll join us in advancing the kingdom together. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you today. Thank you for your prayers and your support. And now we say God bless you as you go live boldly for God.